The old analysis machine is hard at work looking over the world of light trailer for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but it's going to take a little while yet. For one, there's a lot of details here, and compiling them all is going to take some time. But there was one aspect that we felt was worth pointing out early, and that's the fact that the World of Light features a city dedicated to Nintendo hardware. In one scene, as the camera pans out to show the entire map, there's a southern city that can be spotted, and right away, on the right side, there's a gray Famicom. Not only that, but to its left is an original Game Boy that has been turned around and has no game cartridge. And I'm sure you've already noticed the Nintendo 64 logo just south of that, but did you spot the gray Wii Mini to the right of it? At least, we think it could be the Wii Mini, as it never came in this color, but then again, the Famicom is only gray and lacks its typical red. Continuing to the left, there's a building toward the center that features the SNES button pad, and above that is an orange GameCube. But even that isn't everything, as there's a building shaped like Discoon, which was the Famicom Disk System's mascot. To the left of that is an actual Nintendo 64, and next to it is the normal Wii. At least we think so. Now, that's all of the Nintendo console references we could find, but there's still one more thing to note. Did you notice this building with the squiggly rooftop? That's Moray Towers in Splatoon, so it looks like we could expect a few matches to take place there. This is only a small taste of what's hiding within the World of Light, and we plan to show it all for you to see. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for the coming analysis and more on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate.